Yo, really excited about this video. So I'm gonna be taking you through a new sports book. And this sports book, this platform is called Jock Market. And for some reason, they weren't letting me deposit money for the longest amount of time, but whatever, I finally got money in. So we're gonna be breaking it down. And what you're gonna notice is this is a platform that works identical to prize picks. So they have five pick entries, five pick entries. And if you use a partial lock, partial lock right here. So this is just their payout structure for partial locks. It's the exact same thing as a prize picks flex play, right? You get the exact same payout. So you go five for five, you got a 10 X payout. You go four for five, you got a two X payout, three for five, a 0.4 X payout. That's the exact same payout structure as prize picks, right? So prize picks is a fixed payout platform. Any five picks you select, that's the payout you're going to get, right? And that's the exact same payout as jock market. So you may be wondering, why should I sign up for Jock Market? Why would I sign up for Jock Market if it's basically just a replica of prize picks, right? Why would I sign up for this sports book? And that's a good question. And the reason is they have different lines from one another. So you're gonna see on prize picks, there's not much value out there right now. So I'm just looking at the odds jam, you know, fantasy optimizer, and you're gonna see there's not a ton of plays on prize picks. We're looking for plays in green. You switch over to Jock Market, there's a ton of plays. Right? You never know which book is going to screw up and offer value on a given day. So you're going to see on Jock Market, we were able to get Cal Quantrill under four and a half strikeouts. Right, So we were able to get this play on Jock Market. You look at prize picks, let's go to the MLB, and then let's go to pitcher strikeouts, and we look up Quantrill, his line's at four. Right, So there's a pretty big difference. Right, Jock Market setting Cal Quantrill's line at four and a half strikeouts, on prize picks it's four. So these books, they all wanna be unique. They all wanna set lines independently. So even though, you know, Jock Market is basically a replica of prize picks, they wanna be different. They set lines independently. So you're gonna notice they have different lines from one another. So even though these platforms work in the exact same way as one another, sometimes there's more bets on prize picks, sometimes there's more value on Jock Market. Another reason to sign up for Jock Market is they have a sign up bonus. So basically you deposit $100, they give you $100 for free. So if you deposit 100 bucks, you'll have $200 in your account. They offer a sign up bonus, right? These sports books offer sign up bonuses as a marketing cost. They're trying to incentivize you to sign up for their platform. So when you sign up for Jock Market, you're already gonna be ahead by 100 bucks. But anyways, there's a lot of value on Jock Market. I don't wanna take too long to do this video. So let's just kind of go ahead, let's get into it. So let's start out by kind of explaining, you know, how does prize picks work? And I've explained this in other videos, but again, prize picks is a fixed payout platform. Any five picks you select, you're getting this payout, right? Which is the same as on Jock Market. Doesn't matter if you take overs, unders, doesn't matter if I switch this to a baseball pick, doesn't matter at all. We're always getting the exact same payout on um, prize picks, regardless of the five picks you select. So basically what you can do is you can reverse engineer, and I know it sounds complicated, but it's not. You can take these payouts, right? So you can take the jock market payout structure or the prize picks payout structure. They work in the exact same way. And you can back out what percentage of my picks do I have to win to be profitable on these platforms? And you're going to see it's 54.25% right? So long story short, the way that prize picks, the way that jock market make money is they know most people have no advantage. Most sports bettors are clueless. And if you have no advantage, you're going to only be able to get these over unders on prize picks or jock market correctly 50% of the time, right? You're going to win 50% of your picks. You're going to lose 50% of your picks. If you have no edge or no advantage, you're essentially just like flipping a coin, 50% to be heads, 50% to be tails. It's the same thing here. If you had no advantage, 50%, you know, for Zach Greinke to go over, 50% for him to go under. You're only gonna be able to hit 50% of your picks, but you gotta win 54.25% of your plays to be profitable on prize picks or jock market. 54.25%, right? So we're looking for plays that are winning over 54.25% of the time. I mean, there's nothing more to it. You just take these payouts and you back out what percentage of my picks do I have to win to be profitable on jock market or prize picks? And it's 54.25%. And I'll include this spreadsheet in the description so you can play around with it. But basically, like, if you're winning your player prop, so if you can hit these over-unders, if you can be correct 55% of the time, wrong only 45% of the time, so you can win 55% of your picks, you're going to have an ROI on jock market or prize picks of roughly 5%.
and you can play around with these numbers. Again, I'll include this spreadsheet in the description. Um, and you can make a copy and do whatever you want, right? But this is just, you know, literally the payout structure backing out what percentage of our picks do we need to win. So all Odds Jam is doing for both prize picks, right, as well as jock market is just showing you on this fantasy optimizer player props that are winning above 54.25% of the time. So all these picks in red, not winning enough, not profitable in a jock market or a prize picks entry. Right, You want these picks in green because all the picks in green you're going to see are winning above 54.25% of the time. On prize picks, there's not any right now. Right, This is why you need to have multiple sports books. First of all, Jock Market, they give you a $100 sign-up bonus. You're going to see I got a $100 referral bonus. You sign up, you're already up $100. And then the second reason is sometimes there's no value on prize picks. This is why you want to have as many sports book accounts as possible. I've used over 40 sports books. You know, but anyways, so you're going to see the first pick, according to Odds Jam, that's winning 56.38% of the time. So if you could win all your picks on jock market or prize picks 56.38% of the time, you're going to have an ROI of 14.7%, really high, right? 14.7% ROI is pretty good, especially considering in sports betting, your ROIs are daily. We're betting on games that are today, right? I'm betting on games tonight, today. So if you could earn a 14.68% ROI on jock market, imagine what that builds up to over the course of a month, a year, right? But anyways, so why is this player prop on Cal Quantrill so good? Well, look at the sports books, right? So this is just the Odds Jam Positive EV tool, which also you can use to find profitable bets on jock market or prize picks. It kind of depends on what you prefer. Some people like looking at the fantasy optimizer. Some people like the positive EV tool because it shows you every single sports book and where sports books are setting the lines. And what you're gonna notice is on the sports books, you literally have tons of data points, pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world, bet online, fliff, every sports book, they all set lines independently. They all have slightly different models. They're all taking bets from around the market, moving around lines due to supply and demand. Every data point, every single sports book, there's no discrepancies, right? All of these books have Quantrill's under four and a half Ks as the heavily favored outcome, right? All of the sports books have his under heavily favored. So long story short, his under is the favored outcome. So prize picks is a platform, right? Where they're not changing or jock market is a platform where they're not changing your payout based on you selecting over versus under. So essentially what we're doing is instead of flipping a coin with no advantage, it's 50% show up heads, 50% tails. We're looking for coins that are weighted. Right? And here for Quantrill, it's weighted towards the under. All the sports books are saying, no, no, no. His under is more likely than his over. That's why the under is the heavily favored outcome. So the under is 56.38% to occur. The under is the more likely outcome. And this is exactly what we're looking for on prize picks or jock market, these fixed payout platforms that don't vary your payout based on you selecting over versus under. All the books have Quantrill's under heavily favored. We're following the data as sharp betters. And this is the top play available on both the fantasy screen as well as the positive EV tool, right? Quantrill under four and a half strikeouts. All the books have his under heavily favored. This is a player prop winning over 54.25% of the time. So it's profitable in a jock market entry. You can't get this line on prize picks. It also shouldn't be surprising to you. You know, the fact that prize picks has his line at four right? Underdog Fantasy also at his line at four, you know, kind of makes it clear all these other platforms have his line at four, all these other fixed payout platforms, Prize Picks works in the exact same way. They have Quantrill's line at four and we're getting under four and a half on Jock Market, right? So clear value on this play. I mean, about as clear as it gets. My second play is on Steven Matz. I took his under four and a half strikeouts. Once again, all the books have his under heavily favored. So you're gonna see on jock market, I'm not sure why it doesn't let me pull up the entire entry, but you can see I'm betting $200 on this following this exact payout structure. So I'm betting 200 bucks following this payout structure, right? So Quantrill and Matt's under four and a half strikeouts were my first picks. And then you can see on the fantasy screen. So let's go back here. I took Star Starling Marte under half of a run. Why? All the books have his under heavily favored. I took Freddie Furman under half of a single. Why? All the sports books have his under heavily favored, right? Just following the data. And then I took Bregman under half of a single. Why? All the sports books have his under heavily favored. 
and those are the five picks I went with. So I'll show you my entry because I'm not sure why I can't pull it up um, currently um, on the desktop, but you're gonna see it's just right here, right? 200 to win 2,000. This is just a screenshot from my iPhone. I posted this play on Twitter, but I have Quantrill under, Matt's under, Marte under, Furman under half of a single, Bregman under half of a single. So just showing you guys in these videos where I'm finding value, what I'm putting my own money on, Hopefully this video was helpful. Any questions you have, I'll leave my email in the description, whether it's about jock market, prize picks, parlay play, any of these sports books, FanDuel, DraftKings, whatever. I've used them all. You can reach out with questions. Let's make money, guys.